Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you may be aware at the moment, uh, the Italian cruisers are uh, popping up in the containers for free at the moment. Uh, you can grab tier 1 and 2, uh, but beyond that, uh, you have to grab them in a, one of the container drops. And uh, I've just received my first one, and it's the tier 4 Monte Chucoli. Um, I might just call it the Monte from now on. Um, as I'm sure I'll get it wrong or I'll get my uh, tongue tied <laughs> and not be able to pronounce it. So, uh, yeah, pretty excited about that. I like, I, I do like tier four and five. Uh, it's probably my go tier, my go to tiers to play. Um, so it's pretty cool getting a tier four one. Um, I didn't mind the tier one and tier two cruisers. I thought, um, yeah, they, they seem pretty fun, pretty cool. Um, so let's uh, have a look at this one. Of course, when you get your your free cruiser, you will also get the personal mission, um, and you'll get a, a bit of gold from that, which has been really good. Um, actually, I've been getting a lot of gold uh, lately. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look. <coughs> I will just open my second container that I have while we're here. All right. So yeah, so the uh, Nino Bixio and the uh, Taranto, uh, the two that uh, you are able to unlock just through playing. Um, but besides that, at the moment, uh, they're all in early access. So I do have now early access to the Monty. So uh, let's have a look. This is going to be uh, really cool. Okay, so yeah, she's a, a much bigger beast, of course, than the uh, Tier 2, which is to be expected. But... Um, Wow, yeah, quite a uh, quite a solid-looking ship. I will hide the uh, user interface for a moment. We can have a bit of a look. I do love the uh, the decks of these. I wish my German ships all had uh, a little bit of colour on the decks like that. That would be very cool. Now I can see some nice uh, torpedo tubes on the side there, but they only look like jewel launchers, perhaps. And uh, four jewel turrets. Yeah, nice looking ship. Okay. So first little upgrade um, is the usual, I guess, for uh, for cruisers. I am. Working my way up to some more attach uh, <laughs> attachments. <laughs> Been playing too much Call of Duty. Uh, I'm looking to uh, save up to get some uh, modifications for my Fletcher, which is uh, the ship I'm uh, using at the moment, grinding through. So I'm not going to spend any money on this ship. Not, not at the moment, anyway. Um, but yeah, the, the usual upgrades for a cruiser. Um, nice little upgrade to the hull there. You, of course, your torpedoes and your um, targeting system, which of course is your base, basically your main battery. So let's have a look a bit of a um, overview. So the Monty is uh, hidden. Good concealment means the ship can get close to enemies before being detected. Okay, that's cool. Fast, above average maximum movement speed, and that's uh, always handy. Uh, getting from point A to B, or getting into uh, better firing positions, getting into cover, or uh, catching enemy ships when they're uh, heading away from you, which is always good. Uh, unfortunately though, it does have the compromising. High, higher caliber AP shells may overpen the armor, but may still arm, depending on shell velocity. So, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but... Um, that's interesting. Okay, it's something to keep in mind. So, the lead ship in the third series of Condottieri class light cruisers. In comparison with her predecessors, Monty featured more balanced characteristics achieved by strengthening her armor protection. Yeah, it does look like uh, definitely has a little bit more uh, sort of armor to the body. In its service in 1935 and ships in the series two. Okay, so. Let's have a look at the most important thing here. Oh, so really good torpedo range. I think that's um, a bit of a, th a theme with these uh, Italian cruisers. Long torpedo range. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it only has two dual launchers. So 
Uh, look, while well, they, they will be dangerous, um, for sure, uh, when you're only firing off two, um, and they are very slow at 51 knots, um, you know, that's not fantastic. Uh, maximum damage of nearly 13,000, which is actually okay. Um, reload time of 55 seconds. Alright, so, uh, now one of the main things, of course, being a cruiser, is your, uh, what is your artillery looking like now? 7% set, uh, to set on fire. Um, yeah, look, that's reasonably low. Um, but AP shell damage of 3,000. Hmm. Maximum HE shell damage, 2,100. Uh, okay, so, and the range is, range is pretty decent at, for tier 4, 12.2 Ks. Reload time, 14 seconds. I'm just picturing that in my head. Okay, so it's a, a reasonable reload time, I guess. Uh, and uh, some, okay, secondaries, 4K range. Uh, hit, decent amount of hit points and armor. Pretty good torpedo damage reduction, actually, I think, for a cruiser. 16%. Uh, maximum speed, 37 knots, so nice and fast. Uh, decent uh, turning circle radius as well. The rudder shift time is a bit high, <laughs> but um, that can be improved. And concealment, <laughs> look, it doesn't matter too much anyway, but um, it's re reasonable, I guess. All right, so uh, let's have a look here. So let's run down to our uh, Italian ships. <laughs> As you can see, I do have a few too many ships. Okay, so... Uh, ah, interesting. I didn't realize that. Let's just have a little bit of a look at our two uh, commanders here. So... Torpedo, destroyer, and cruiser. So it looks like this um, Inigno is uh, sort of your general uh, bit of everything commander. Consumable charges plus one. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, but I did switch to Luigi. <laughs> Uh, which is a, uh, seems to be a cruiser uh, specific commander. So, uh, the main skill, incoming damage minus 2.4. Okay. Um, okay, so we're going to put uh, Luigi in this as well. Uh, just pumped him up to uh, rank 8. Alright, so yeah, it's quite a uh, decent sized ship actually. So let's do our little loadout system here. So, because early adopter, um, I will put a camo one for this. Uh, let, let's actually use one of the uh, Regia Marina camos. And I will put a battle booster on. Alright, great. Let's have a uh, first game. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy Tier 4. Um, tier 4 and Tier 5 are the two tiers that I really use a lot to uh, grind, so I, I play them, or have played them a lot, and also my favourite ship is at tier 4, so, um, which, which uh, yeah, makes me play tier 4 a lot, <laughs> um, also, uh, one of my favourite destroyers is tier 5, so yeah, I generally do, uh, I am ar around that tier 4, tier 5, tier 6. Um, but as you saw, I do have uh, many ships of every tier. <laughs> Way too many. One day I'll probably get around to uh, selling a few of them. Yeah, this camo looks really cool. And I uh, really like the deck and the uh, the flag <laughs> on the ship. That looks great. Okay, so what are we going to do today? We've got three enemy destroyers. Going to leave. Hmm. The one thing I like is the spread looks 
uh, very narrow on the narrow angle torpedoes, so that looks good. Very good. I like that. I don't like widespread torpedoes. Looks like we have a uh, few American ships. Yeah, pretty good mix. Okay, we're going to let our destroyer friend, I think, go to capture the Charlie point there. If the Omaha had probably gone that way, I would have gone that way as well, but uh, I could see myself going that way and getting about five enemy ships all targeting me at once. Okay, so, yeah, very nice looking ship. Very uh, dagger-like. Very cool. Okay, now the, the previous cruisers that I used had uh, really good uh, shell trajectory. Uh, I was really happy with the way that they uh, the firing arc came out of them. Remind me a lot of uh, the better German guns, which are nice and flat and very accurate. So one of the enemy destroyers is at Charlie, at least one. Oh, and there's a cruiser and a battleship back there as well, so... You our Fabuki friend is going to have uh, their hands full. I do love the Fabuki. That was my uh, mentioned uh, favourite destroyer at Tier 5. Okay, so he's got a Konigsberg and another Fabuki there. Okay. We're going to keep moving across here. Now, hopefully, a. Uh, there's an enemy destroyer there somewhere. Hopefully he'll pop up. We can have a bit of a crack at him with these uh, HE rounds. Not much point popping my aircraft at this stage. I really love these long range torpedoes at tier 4. That's very cool. They're very uh, destroyer like. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, very nice. Okay, I like these guns. Now there's that enemy destroyer, but we're going to pop some uh, AP here. I know it's a uh, enemy battleship, but I'd like to see uh, what they can do. Now it's a pretty slow reload time. Ah, oh, she's gone anyway. Okay, let's cr let's close in and try and get this uh, enemy destroyer. Eh? Popping aircraft. She is tricky. Okay. Here's our chance to have a look what our uh, anti-destroyer capabilities are like. That was a big fail. One hit. <laughs> now I'm expecting torpedoes to come flying out of there, but uh, doesn't mean they will. Now he's. Uh, He's done a runner there, so we can capture this flag. So that was a uh, good move there. Um, obviously he saw uh, a cruiser coming in, thought better of hanging around. I've got another battleship coming in. I'm going to try and uh, go after this destroyer here. Hopefully that Fuso leaves me alone. Uh, hopefully we can swing around and help our buddy over there. He seems to be going pretty good. Okay, well, he, our Fubuki destroyed their Fubuki, which is a good start. Now we're going to catch this uh, Mitsuki by the look of it. Oh no! <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens? Now my reload, slow reload here is going to really stuff us up. Oh, he, wow! He is a killer. Okay. Looks like we're about to find out what uh, we can do against a Fuso. Now the cool thing is this ship does have smoke. It's a massive bonus. I've got HE on. Now the uh, turret traverse <laughs> isn't awesome. Let's give the Fuso something to think about. Let's see if... Uh, Whoa, that's never good. 
Anno critico a torretta principale. Allarme incendio. Yeah, now that's it. that is a very slow, uh, <laughs> very sorry, very low trajectory of uh, shots, which can be good. I actually do prefer that, but when it comes to uh, firing over an island, it's not great. Looks like she's going to uh, go forwards again. There she goes. I really do love the trajectory of these rounds. They're so flat. It's very cool. Now, I'm not sure if she's going to... Oh! Oh, don't you really love World of Warships Legends sometimes? You know, it can be very frustrating sometimes. Um, <laughs> I, I obviously started playing this game in the beta, uh, if, you, if you've been following me for a while. And uh, the games, uh, I'm sure they went for at least two, three, four, maybe even five times as long as what they do these days. It, it's very frustrating. Um, you really want to get in there and have a great game and have a chance to to really have some fun, um, but uh, yeah, sometimes they've they've just uh, they've made these games way way too short, and I understand why. Um, obviously, I don't want to make it easy for you to grind, and um, they want you to to keep on playing, <laughs> and, it, and it works. Uh, but it gets very frustrating when you yeah, you want to have a, a, a bit of a fun game. And I, I don't know how long that game went for, but I don't think it was very long. Uh, but anyway, uh, the Monty. Okay, so that was pretty cool. I, I quite enjoyed that. I think it's... um, You feel very... Uh, it feels like the ship would respond to you being very aggressive. Uh, it feels like it's a ship that wants to really uh, be in attack mode. I love the long-range torpedoes. I love the frat, uh, flat trajectory of the shells. Um, actually, I think I'm going to actually uh, enjoy this ship. I have a, f I have a feeling um, these Italian cruisers are actually going to be um, quite fun. So I think, hopefully, I may play the Tier 4 and 5 as a, as a couple of my grinding uh, ships. All things going well. I got the hiccups there. That's how exciting it was. Uh, so in the future, you may see me with uh, Luigi pumped up uh, <laughs> to, <laughs> to quite a higher rank. And I might be uh, laying down some videos of Italian cruisers. Um, but uh, thanks for watching this first play. And uh, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to be negative. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, just uh, sucked a little bit of the fun out of that game, it being so quick. Um, but yeah, I did actually really enjoy that. So I'm looking forward to exploring uh, Italian cruisers a little bit more. I definitely love the look of them. And uh, so far, I, I have really enjoyed them. I've only played three of the cruisers, of course, at lower tiers. Um, and I'm currently doing the Roma campaign. Uh, so I'm going to have a few few cool Italian ships. Um, I'm not really interested in the French ships at all. It's just me personally. Uh, I've got more than enough ships to keep me busy. Um, but having said that, I did uh, say I wouldn't really play Russian ships, and I quite enjoyed the uh, battleship line of the the Russians. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Hopefully we can get another free uh, Italian cruiser soon. <laughs> Bye for now.